Hey guys, so Respawn just dropped a new trailer called The Voidwalker and I'm here to explain what's happening, also give a little bit of theories along the way, and also try to explain how this fits in the overall big picture story of Apex. So here we go. Okay guys, so in the first part it talks about how the final days of the war in the Titanfall universe were coming to an end and how the IMC withdrew from the Outlands. And also it talks about an abandoned military base, but if you go to the video for the trailer in the descriptions, it's called a detention facility. So I'm not sure if um they just didn't want to put that or that was something you had to find on your own. But it's a detention facility slash military base. So I'm not sure if I'm overthinking it be and it's just the same thing. But a detention facility is where you meant to keep um, certain people in there like prisoners or, you know, dark ex secret experiments that they're doing. So yeah, guys, just want to point that out because that drove me crazy. In this next scene, guys, you see Ray finding a computer and she uses a USB device to hack and get into the top secret information. A lot of people have been telling me that this symbol is cryptos and that crypto and rape are helping each other to get both. Th they both want different things, but they need each other's help to get it. This next scene tells us a lot about rape and what happened to her and who she is. So let's start her out first. The first thing we need to know is the scientist who was behind this project was named Amir Science. I think that's how you say it. It could be Amir. I, I don't really know. But he was in charge of this project named Code Rape and the purpose was interdimensional phase technology he was the lead scientist as we see um subject was named renee blastly which is rave her age is 27 and you can see her home world but her number is 61137 keep that in mind that's going to be very important because i'm going to show you guys that this indeed is rave and this is what happened to her but i'm also going to explain what um something very surprising that i saw is that she was considered a failure for the project yet in the trailer we're going to see that she can clearly use her portal ability so i'm gonna explain that in a bit guys but first we gotta explain about this rave's universe is purpose and why she's after amir on this next scene guys you see the rave finds out that amir is dead and she gets very angry on that fact that she slams the board now the reason this is important is because amir was the head scientist and all this and you saw those pictures and videos of rave in the chair and being like experimented on now the important thing and most interesting about this all is that rave can use her portal but she was considered a failure which is interesting so how did she learn to control the void and where she get that technology Technology to do it so she didn't obviously she didn't get it from the imc so she must have gotten from somewhere in this universe rafe escaped this facility a long time ago as you're gonna see later on in this video but her main mission was to find amir where he is but to find out that he was dead was a big disappointment and now we here in the board guys now i want to make this as simple as possible to understand okay guys so this is from my understanding i could be completely wrong on this but from what i understand the wraith that we see go through the portal that dimension rave she is the main rave in other words she is the only one who can go through the portal no other rave can every other rave has to find a way to get out but her but she the rave that's in the portal can see what they're doing and tries to find every possibility possible so when one rave finds a way to go through the window it goes then to her and then she just tell it practically tells every other wraith to go through the window it's not like there's gonna be a wraith that finds a way to go through the door and then they're like okay you can go through the door and then we're gonna go through the window no everybody goes through the window it's not infinite possibilities i i hope this is a simple version to explain so if one wraith goes through the window then all the wraiths go through the window no matter what uh, but it's kind of contradictive as you're gonna see later on but i guess there's an exception to the rule now in this scene guys this is the confusing slash contradicting part because you would think that all raves do the same thing but no this is a different universe that's happening at the exact same time at the exact same place so no rave is not going back in time this is actually her watching another dimension where the bunker facility is still being run and she's still captured and for some reason she decides to come out of the portal to actually help this other rave from another dimension i'm guessing because it pissed her off seeing 
seen that she was not trying to find back and trying to free herself and she was just willing to let them do whatever they want to her so i'm guessing that's the reason and also shocking that there can be two rapes at the exact same time but this is what i'm saying that this rape is the only one that can control the portal and be in it and no other rape can she can give them heads up and tell them hey be careful with this and that but yeah so yeah guys that's what i'm guessing that she's the only one that can use the portal because of her device in her hand and also she learns that the imc is still running so in this universe the war is not close to, not even close to being over maybe even they won the war but the point is is that this is still going on and that this rave is now teaching our rave the rave from apex legends that we play how to survive and to listen to herself Trust just your eyes, and you'll lose. So it's nice to see that Rave is getting confidence in herself and what all, but this raises even more questions. Um, does Rave have the power to basically travel through dimensions on her own? Or is it the suit that gives her that power? Um, we have no idea, but we... I'm I'm gonna guess is the suit does give her that power to travel to dimensions willingly and right here Ray finally listens to herself and actually does what she has to to protect herself and right here six one one three seven now hold as you heard guys he basically said her number which kind of gives you an idea how much he really um how much he treats her when he doesn't even say her real name but just the number right here rafe is wondering why did he kill him because remember she remembers all the pain that she went through being experiments on so for her she was telling her that hey you need to make them punish because of all the things they did to me and well and you but Rafe here doesn't care about that. She only cares about knowing who she was in the past and what she can remember anything. And remember, this Rafe, the main Rafe we're seeing right now, the one that can travel to Porto, she knows everything. She knows her name. She knows why she was chosen. She knows who the enemy is. And yet right here, she's just decided to not tell her anything, which I get it. Because she's going to be like, hey, I struggle to find my answers. And you're supposed to struggle to find your answers. Now, a lot of people are going to think that there's a plot hole that why was Rafe so mad that Amir was dead if she could just go to a dimension where he's alive? It's not that simple and it's not that easy because it just so happened that he was alive in this dimension. But the majority of time when she was trying to escape that room in the window, every dimension next to her, um, Amir was dead. But it just so happens that she just found a dimension where he just so happens to be alive because she cannot control where what dimension she can go where he's alive and it's really a waste of time and i guess energy trying to do that because it would take a long time it just so happens that she just came to this universe and he's still alive and i'm pretty sure she was expecting him to be dead but not in this world because remember in this world um the imc is still running so it was pretty good chance that amir was still alive but yeah so right here um the rave starts realizing that hey um they want me not you so in other words she's starting to realize here that she found what she's looking for her whole purpose was to find this scientist and she started realizing okay this is my destiny it, I, all this happened for a reason I'm done there's no reason she no longer needs that it's all she has found what she's been looking for and right here you can see that she sends the RA our wraith the dimension from where she came she's now in the portal void so basically she's in limbo let's just say it let's just call it limbo right here wraith the way she wraith got shot I'm guessing is that since she was no longer and she was in a different dimension she couldn't get her warnings in her head she can give other wraith warnings but not herself and right here you see um the this wraith are the wraith from apex she's giving um portal wraith here vortex wraith on um, warnings and right here Rafe, I feel sorry for you, Amir. He is a dead man right here. But right here, Rafe knows that her job, she completed her mission. And it's now up to our Rafe, Apex Rafe, right here to find her answers, her, her choices, her destiny, to make her own path, pretty much, guys. And yeah, so she, right here, she switched places. Um, Apex Legends Rafe 
ends up in Vortex's Rave's universe. How do we know this? Because they showed us the control room being completely destroyed and the bunker being inactive. So basically abandoned. But in her universe, the IMC were in full control and it was still operating by them. So it's clearly they switch universes. And I doubt you I doubt that Apex Legends Rave can just go through a different dimension without her suit. So yeah, guys. So this pretty much is it. And the big plot twist is that it turns out out that this whole bunker facility or this whole operation has been done in Solus, where we're playing the game apex legends so yeah guys it makes you wonder is the apex legends a cover-up or is it more than that and also crypto is probably gonna wait a long time and it's gonna be very confused why rafe is now playing in the games but yeah guys that's a theory for another time and i'll see you guys all next time let me know if you guys have any more details and by the way i could be wrong on all this so don't hate on me but yeah Thanks for guys for watching and if you guys have any theories on your own you can comment and, and yeah that'll be it see ya.